first ever black hole image release. Can we see a picture of that and not TJ's hemorrhoidal asshole? Yeah, well, this... Look uh, at that, dude. This looks like a fucking col- TJ actually, colonoscopy, it dude. It actually... Colonoscopy, dude. Whatever. Colonoscopy. <laughs> I'm, I'm British, TJ. Colonoscopy. papa. Colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. It's a Z. Colonoscopy. 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 I'm, going, I'm going to the MD to get a colonoscopy. We are now entering TJ's Travis Colon. The first ever picture of a black hole surrounded by a halo of bright lights. Uh, a lot of people have made jokes about it looking like a bagel or a donut or something of those natures. No. This um, looks like the eye of... I think that's kind of lame Whoa, that dude. people are like, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. It looks so blurry. It's like, wow, I'm, yeah, I'm just, so lame that we can't get a high resolution yeah. of something ex- at the center of the fucking Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> What'd you expect? Like a yeah, 4K image of it, you dumb shits? <laughs> Well, no, it's it's amazing that we can even get an actual imaging of something that's only been theoretical up until this point. So that's cool. Uh, it measures forty billion kilometers across, three time, three million times the size of the Earth. Has been described by scientists as a monster. Uh, the black hole is five hundred million trillion kilometers away and was Fuck, photographed dude. by a network of eight telescopes across the world. Scropes. Scropes. Telescopes. You fucking give me shit, TJ. Yeah, you give me shit too for and saying this telescope. This telescope. Telescope. The telescope. It was captured by the Event Horizon Telescope. No, scrope. A network of eight link telescopes. There you go, Stroke. Uh, Professor Heino Falke, I guess, of uh, Radboud University in the Netherlands, uh, who proposed the experiment, told BBC News that the black hole was uh, found in the uh, galaxy called M87. Uh, What we see is larger than the size of our entire solar system, he said. Uh, It has a mass 6.5 billion times that of the sun, and is one of the heaviest black holes that we think exists. It is an absolute monster, the heavyweight champion of black holes in the universe. Yeah. I saw some people posting this earlier, like on Twitter, and a lot of people were like, behold, the destroyer of the galaxy. It's like, nah, dude. These guys are subject to, you want to worship something in the galaxy as the destroyer of all things? It's entropy that you worship. Because these things radiate energy. So on a long enough time scale, they collapse under their own fucking weight, too, and dissipate into nothing. Beautiful, beautiful these are just, entropy. These are, these are just other entities out in the fucking, not entities, but other uh, objects out in the galaxy that are all being eaten away at by the slow march of time. So Slowly you, but surely losing yeah. all of their mass. Yeah. yeah die, I love black it. hole, it's die. Got mass out the ass. There's this uh, really great video I watched recently mm-hmm. called like uh, a timeline of the universe, and it goes absurdly far into the future. Taking what we know about, you know, what scientists know. Right. Extrapolating on. Right. Yeah. And, you know, talks about how on a long enough time scale, there's just literally nothing. Everything's the same temperature. There's not a single particle of matter anymore. Not a single proton or electron. It's just infinite nothing forever. Cool. And that's, you know, that's cooler to me than this shit. The black hole. Way. A black hole is cool. I, I'm glad we can take a look at it. I don't know why it looks oddly sexual or why I want to kind of put my dick in it. But yeah, Paul's like, mm, I kind of do, uh, dude. I, I don't know why. As soon as I saw this, my first thought, and maybe that's just a man thought, was like, hmm, yeah, I want to plow that. Really? Really? Because the, mean, the first words out of your mouth was that it looked like my hemorrhoids, so that's kind of disturbing. Whoa, oh, I try. saw it earlier, TJ. No, you didn't. I Italy's, told you just now. You know what, no, you TJ? Didn't. Italy's top court rules physical appearance irrelevant in rape cases. This is a follow-up. You guys might remember that we uh, covered the initial story I was here. just going to say, TJ, yeah. before you really interrupted me, man, that Paul just wants to stick his dick in the biggest hole in the universe. Right. That's <laughs> fine. Uh, I'm going to start again. Italy's top court rules... That's phys- fine. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're bad, Scotty. You're a naughty boy. Well, you cut me off when I'm fucking saying something, TJ, you piece of fucking shit. I'm moving shit. the show I'm along. I'm moving the show along. Maybe we don't want the fucking show moved along, Yeah, TJ bitch. is right. really abrupt with his show moving along. There you go. Talk about the black hole. He forever. is, dude. Go ahead. No, no. Let's make a. Tw- I was just fucking let's saying. Make a two-hour fucking segment. I was on just this black fucking hole. saying, TJ. Yeah. What were you saying? That Paul probably thought like he's like, dude, this is the biggest fucking hole yeah. in the goddamn galaxy we know of. It's a fucking like the fucking physicist even said it, dude. He just wants to fucking be able to fucking stick his wee wee in something like that. It'll get started with a volcano and fucking DP. And now it's I want to fuck everything. So you he know, wants to fuck everything in the universe, dude. But like fucking a black hole, you, you can't deny TJ. Why do you want to move the conversation along when we just got to fucking the black hole? Mm. 
You don't want to fuck the black hole? Uh, you wouldn't stick your Peter in that. No. No. You wouldn't no. try it? You wouldn't dip your wick in that, TJ? No, Paul. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't pop your penguin off in that hole, TJ? You know what, TJ? You it's not have, even it's not like a you hole have a choice, that you could stick TJ. your dick in. It's a you giant mass of fucking extreme gravity that would just just destroy you. You so. wouldn't lay on top of this thing and treat it like a Mississippi mud hole, TJ? <laughs> Don't talk about Mississippi mud holes to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this looks like to me, dude. It's a Mississippi mud hole. Yeah. No, you wouldn't fuck this, TJ? Come on, honestly. I, I mean, you, the most puerile of us on this thing, is trying to act like you you're wouldn't... disinterested in, uh, in the oh, implications yeah. of blowing a load in the womb of the universe. Uh-huh. Aren't you? Dude, you're the most sexually deviant among us, TJ. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't do it. And yet you don't want to talk about plowing it looks, God's butthole? It looks like a blurry bagel, dude. It doesn't. Not, it looks dude. like a it looks like a fertile womb, TJ, waiting to be impregnated. Come to me, TJ. All right, well, you have fun. And you know what else happens, TJ? Come what? What happens? You have you you've heard about that noodling? What yeah, if you got spe- just close enough the for your spaghettification? Yeah, yeah, your dick gets like fucking insanely huge, TJ. Wow, yeah. I and then right about- right before it gets snapped off, you know what I mean? <laughs> You yeah. blow a load and reel it back in. Oh, You've okay. inseminated the universe, I'm and you're not sure, interested in I'm this? I'm pretty sure there's no reeling anything back You come back with this two-mile-long fucking donkey-looking dick. You become the world's biggest porn star. You can, like, stand on the east coast of the United States and fuck a bitch in Japan. It's my th- you know what I mean? Yeah, that's... You know what? Now that I think about it, Paul, that's amazing. 